Hi, my name's Sharon Mackay. I'm the Head of Family Law Department at Taylor Bracewell. So a consent order is a legally binding court order that within a divorce, the couple will look at dealing with their finances and what would be a fair settlement. So they would need to deal with a process of financial disclosure so that they're giving financial information to each other. Once they've done that, hopefully that will help them to negotiate a financial settlement. And if they can negotiate a settlement, whether it's between them or with the help of a solicitor or even a mediator, it needs to be put into a legally binding document and that's called a consent order. So that consent order can only go to court once we have a conditional order, it was called Decree Nisi. That can be lodged online and generally a solicitor would need to prepare that consent order for the parties as it's quite a complex document. It's also accompanied by some financial information. So a judge cannot approve a consent order without a basic amount of financial information so that he can see whether that order represents a fair settlement between the parties. And so we would also help with preparation of that document along with the consent order. Generally speaking, parties don't need to attend court when the consent order has been lodged, although if one of them isn't represented by a solicitor, sometimes there will be an online or a face-to-face -face court hearing, again just for the judge to make sure that both parties fully understand what they've agreed. And so it's always advantageous to have a consent order separately to having a divorce. Thanks for watching, I hope that was valuable. If you want to contact us about any more family law issues, please get in touch using the details on screen.